Hi, it's Gok here and I'm working with JD Williams and today we're going to explore what does it mean to be midlife. Let me tell you right now, it's a very exciting time. I'm about to meet and style someone with an absolutely enormous personality and I cannot wait to discover her personal style. Judy, thank you so much for inviting me into your home. Oh, and a really intimate moment, getting your nails done. Babes, this is me. This is a part of my lifestyle. Do you think you've got a load of pressure to feel glamorous? Do you know what? I think there sometimes you put the pressure on yourself. I like the little bits of the glitz and the glam. And being a black woman as well, our hair is so important to us. So that was always in my lifestyle, doing my hair. Yeah. I kind of want to know about midlife. This has got to take a sip of this tea, okay? <laughs> what does midlife mean though? Does it mean the age? I don't have to compromise. I feel more empowered to make decisions that serve me. So interesting, because I mentioned the word midlife life to you and to a lot of people midlife is a negative yeah every single definition of midlife you gave me there was positive i think it's come from me um not giving a damn i realized there was always a pattern of everyone saying oh you make me laugh you make me laugh and then it was like well what if i get paid to make you laugh girl listen you didn't get paid in the beginning <laughs> i said i was like uh, open mics for a drag <laughs> you think there's more pressure on being a female comic yeah, definitely. I think society feels that um, female comics can only talk about, you know, menopause and dating. Don't get me wrong, you might get a little bit of something you're dating <laughs> in there. But yeah, I think there's so much more. So single now? I'm always dating. I'm ready to Pringle. Babes, you didn't even have to <laughs> Are you going out and dating? This thing of dating, it should just be called you're going out to get to know people. Just speaking and enjoying your time with people and vibing, and then you see what happens. Yeah. And does that affect what you wear then? Either I'll sex it up, if that's the right word, or I might dress it down a little right. bit, depending on where we're going and what, what we're doing. And do you feel sexy? Of course. Did you see that was one question I didn't hesitate yeah. on? Yeah, what about sex? I think sex is great. Right. It's good for your body, physically, mm. mentally, emotionally, if it's mm. with the right person and you're in the right place. Mm. I mean, I think we need to bust down this myth of women in their midlife don't want to have sex or don't enjoy it. I think a man wrote that, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> Why do you think a man <laughs> would write that? Because maybe he don't know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Right, one of my favourite subject matters, shapewear. So, Judy Love, yes. what does shapewear mean to you? It empowers me, it makes me feel more confident. I just love putting it on with particular clothes. It just smooths it out and, yeah, it makes me feel good and supported. You know, I love a good bra. That with a... I'm, I'm here there we to go. go. What is it about your body that you love, then? I love that I fill out my clothes, you yeah. know. I've got shape in my chest, you yeah. know. I just love that this body is has carried two children. Yeah. It helps me do the work that I do. It's filled with love. So JD Williams do an incredible range called Magic Schools. And when you're reaching for control wear, are you looking for the high-waisted power short, just the high-waisted short? Are you looking for the full Monty? It depends on what the occasion is. If it's a long dress, I might go, you know, for the shorts. If it's something yeah. a little bit shorter, then I might wear this one. For the tummy area? Yeah, mama got tummy. Right. That's, that's, that's good. And this one is more, I'd say, for a little date, you know, so that when things get a bit excited and you take it off, you can just say, boo boo, it looks sexy on, but when I take it off, there's a lot more of me for you to have, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, love talking to you, but I need to get ready because I've got a sound check and I've got a little date later, so I'm going to take right, this okay. with <laughs> I'll just pack up this then, yeah? Yeah, I'm taking this. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we are. Oh, look at this. I know. I feel like I'm home. <laughs> So this place obviously means a huge amount to you. Why is that? It's in my hometown, but it just really brought the community together. A lot of black entertainment, comedy, plays. I love this So thing. what's it mean to you that you actually now get the opportunity to perform on this stage to your community? It's, one, it's an honour. Two, I, I'm still in that bubble of like, I can't believe it. My kids get to see it. It's something that I will always have. It'll be yeah. a legacy. And maybe other people that look at me and think, oh, they want to do that. They yeah. 
yeah. can see that they can too. It's beautiful. But it wasn't always like that because you must have faced adversity in your life. Definitely. You know, growing up in a single parent home, you know, being a child carer, you know, being from working class, being a single parent myself. Yeah. And became very mm. like down and depressed. And then just get to that stage where you're like, what what else is there? What should I be doing? What is life about? Well, this. this. You should be doing this. Yeah, coming out of the box, because people can put you in a box and make you yeah. feel like there's no other way, but there is. Yeah, and when you get on stage, is it really important that you've got the clothes on that make you feel powerful and controlled and confident? I like to go on there and be that power boss. I won't say the other word because I'm sure this is going to be on daytime. <laughs> when I'm on stage, I like to not be too distracted with colours. And is it different with television or maybe being on a show on Sky, like Sweet Pea, for instance, you're acting in yeah. as well? Is it a different feeling? And when I'm doing entertainment shows, I'm, I wear much more brighter clothes yeah. when I'm on telly. Well, I am desperate to get my hands on you in, oh. in a very professional oh, okay. way. <laughs> I've got a whole rail of JD Williams clothes Ooh. and I'm going to dress you okay. for your show. And let me tell you right now, all of this goodness is not going to be disguised. You ready? I, I, babes, I was born ready. Come on, guy. man. I was born in Hackney. Do you know what that means? <laughs> So this is my world. Love. This is where I come alive. Yours is the stage. Mine is definitely the dressing room. Yes. I prepped all of these clothes. They're available right now, apart from this one. Bit of a scoop. Mm -hmm. Not available until April, but we've got it for you now. And I've prepped it all thinking about you being midlife, you being your most confident, showing off that part of your personality. Mm. So when you look at the rail, what do these I clothes mean, do to it's you? It's just so vibrant, makes me feel warm, happy, excited. It's just gorgeous. Is there one piece that jumps out to you that you kind of look at the print and you go, I don't know which one's going to be. Which one? This one. <laughs> yeah, it is this one. Okay, so pull it out. Let's have a little look at it. I do love this one. I love the colour, the pink, the orange. Yeah. Oh, that just looks good against my skin tone. Yeah, I'm loving it. And is this something that you would wear maybe on TV yeah, or on stage? I'd wear this on loose, enough for TV, but then that little extra in case me and the girls want to go for a little picante or something. You can else. literally leave the studio, go straight to the pub. You yeah, know that, don't yeah. You? Well, the wrap also is your best mate because yeah. your body, I mean, you've got the most gorgeous shape on you. You've got the oh, boobs, man. the waist goes in, you've got the bum, you've got the hips as well. So this is literally going to do what it says on the tin. It's going to wrap around your body and show off your best assets Thank every single you. time. Plus, it's about the print as well. The print yeah, is gorgeous. I mean, I look at it. that against your skin. I know, the tones are so right. And it's you can also so do soft. neon, can't you? Oh, of course, baby. Let's think about this one. I mean, instantly, this dress feels super sexy. You've got the low V, the arms are on show, even though it's a cap sleeve, they're still on show. You've got this ruching detail. No. And I hear so many times that women should hit a certain age and they need to change the way that they dress. They lose their confidence. It's all about being midlife. Like, it's a negative thing. Yeah. But for me, I think midlife is the time to get really excited. Yeah. You've had your babies, you've got a career, you've got your friends and family, and your clothes should represent all of that stuff. It should be confident, should be strong, and as sexy as you want to push it. And I know this dress on you is going to look super sexy because it's going to show all of that side of your personality. This is definitely a bit of me. Yeah? yeah. Do you agree with that, though? Yeah, definitely, because I think it's a period of time where it's about you now. You've given so much, now let's focus on yourself. And I think also midlife is about reaching a stage where you've kind of worked out who you are. Yeah. Now it's about showing off all the best stuff. Most definitely. Yeah. Now let's let's think about this one because wow. this one isn't going to show off all your curves no. necessarily. A gorgeous suit here. We've got the skirt with a tie waist on the side. What would this do to you on stage? Do you know what? It'd be quite light, I think, and quite free, and you could definitely move around yeah. it, which is really important. And it's really bold. With this, you can just doesn't open matter. it. It's not stiff. To me, the heroes in the print. Right. Like, when I think about you, I always think about personality. Yeah. All right. You've got a good heart. You've got a good soul. Mm. You're courageous. You're bright. Your confidence. Your loud. Yeah. You've got all of that stuff about you. And I think sometimes when you wear a print that's got all of that stuff, 100% brings that from the inside out yeah. every single time. Now we're going to move to this one. This is nice, isn't it? It catches the eye. Is this something you might entertain? So I wouldn't usually wear a dress like this on stage to perform in, but I think this has still got like a boss look to it. Yeah, I think this has got a real wow factor. You've got the low V, it's a true wrap around mm. the body. It's going to hug you in all the right places. You've got the sculpted arms on there as well, so you're going to see your form. It's going to nip you in at the smallest part. Ooh. You've got detailing here as well, but the hero is going to be about the print. If yeah. you imagine you walk on stage, this is going to feel sophisticated. It's a horror 
horizontal print that a lot of women get told they can't wear because it widens them. Yeah. Complete rubbish. That doesn't work because we can still see your curve. Can you imagine you get on stage, you've got this on, and then light. your personality comes at the top of that. You add all the colour. You add all the spice to this outfit. So you look sophisticated, your body's on point, but you then show all the other stuff. You've talked me into it. I think this one is definitely what you should wear on stage. Really? I love all of these, but these feel a bit obvious because you've done the colours yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. I think you should try this one and see how you perform, see what happens to your personality. Let's do this. I'm going to go with you, babes. I love the material as well. And... Yeah. There we go. I think don't have it that open. No. Because everything will be on show. <laughs> right, go and try that on. Let's have Thank a little you. look. Working with JD Williams, we can see how some key pieces can really make a massive difference to your wardrobe. And that simple transformation is something that every single one of us can learn how to master.